think of the worst case scenario that you would need this on this 4x4x48 four by four by challenge and then multiply it. I'm in bad shape. Four by four by 48, what is it? A friend of mine told me about this. This is Ethan. We're in Indian Trail and he's the, he's the reason why I'm doing this. Mine starts here shortly and I'm going to try to explain how terrible this is. So you're supposed to run four miles every four hours for 48 hours. Sounds pretty simple, right? The run officially starts at 11 p.m. Unfortunately, I have signed up to do the Fellowship of the Idiots at 5 a.m. The run that I'm going to, which is the Fellowship of the Idiots, is like 50 minutes away, so. At 5 a.m., I'm gonna be running 20 miles. Not four miles, 20 miles. I'm gonna work it backwards. I'm gonna go four hours from there at 1 a.m. I don't wanna start my run there. I'm actually gonna go ahead and start my run at nine. I'll start here, I'll go around one time, around another, 24, 36, and 48. Sounds miserable, it's gonna be miserable. And so it officially begins. Came to the Canapolis Loop to start it. This will probably be where I'll run my nine, which is now, and my 1 a.m. What I'll try to do is give you a, how my body's feeling, uh, the temperature. Right now I think it's like 40, Two degrees should be like 39 by the time I finish. So, well, there it is. Four miles. Ran with uh, Dancy. Gate four, four miles. It's the first one. That took 41 minutes, and we oh. we chatted a lot. Now I'm gonna go home and get some rest. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. 1 a.m. is the Tell next one. <laughs> I'll, I'll come get you from your house. About that, I'll ring the doorbell. Okay. Run two has officially started. This one was hard to get up. It's 1 a.m. It's only the second run. I was sleeping super well. But if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it, so. Run time on this one's gonna be 45 minutes. There's the vehicle. Being smart about these and using the data from the previous run, I think is really key. So why is that important? Well, my next run is in a few hours um, and it's gonna be a 20 mile run and the temperature is going to change 20 degrees. So this toboggan and gloves means that I am sweating like crazy, which is not good. So we'll get some water in me, go to bed, and uh, get up and do it in less than two hours. Well, it's uh, 4.15 in the morning. My run doesn't start till five, but the run that I'm going to, which is the Fellowship of the Idiots, is like, 50 minutes away, so we should get there right when it starts. Where, where's, the first, where's the first sign? Well, I'm at the Fellowship of the Idiots, and this year is drastically different. There's a bunch of people here, but it's staggered start. What makes the Fellowship of the Idiots so fun is running with a bunch of people. But this year, Peter has done a good job of keeping it alive. 20 miles solo, not what I was hoping for. Hopefully, I'll be able to catch somebody and start running with them, but should be a good time. Uh, I think the temperature's like 36 right now. So hopefully I'll warm up in just a second. What's my next turn to look for? There'll be somebody there. Fantastic, that's what I like Have to hear. Yeah, all as well. I'm definitely
definitely not moving at the pace that I want to. But that back there is the six mile aid station. So we're climbing Morrow and I come across two really uh, encouraging people and definitely helping me make it through. We got Tate, is that right? And Cameron and this young man, Cameron, is 14. And he's had a pretty strong few weeks. You had, you did the Uari loop, or like Uari loop, two, 20, two 20 weeks ago. 26 miles, I believe we did. Yeah, 26 miles, and then the week after that was a uh, uh, fat ass 50k. Fat ass 50k, yeah. and now, now is the Fellowship of the Idiots. Uh, super encouraging, definitely making this climb a lot more manageable. For sure, this is a bit off a little more than I could chew, for sure, but uh, these guys are really helping just keep my mind right and uh, keep it positive. So if you happen to see them on an ultra, of course, definitely say, hey, very cool guys. Still with Tate and Cameron. And uh, they are they are keeping me going. Now we're at a hill where we'll probably I'll I'll, I'll get them to walk. How are you good, buddy? Yes. Help yourself yeah. all you want. Good job, young man. Thank you. Cameron, dude, it was a lot of fun running with you today. I really appreciate. You. Thank you. The time okay. and uh, take the stories, man. Oh, yeah. yeah those are good ones, dude. That's only, we only had three, four hours to talk, so we got, I got lots more. Uh, seriously, like these guys are incredible. They're from Pinehurst. Uh, I am very appreciative of the time that I got to spend with them. But now it's time to rest and recover because I got another one shortly. I'm in bad shape. There's Tyler, he's leaving. Later, dude. Oh, I am 3.85. I'll run back to my car. He's been running with me. I've done four four mile runs and then one 20 mile run. I think that puts me at 36. Uh, tonight's gonna be fun. I'm gonna go try to run with a buddy of mine. Bye. Almost done. Officially 24 hours or more than 24 hours now of doing this. Kind of status update. I am really tired. Like really tired. I, I knew this, I knew that the 4x4x48 four by four by would be difficult because of the rest in between. Because I'm not running at my house. I'm driving to some location. I'm burning a little bit of time. I had to eat. I've had to do stuff. I shower after every run and then I get in the bed. So in a best world scenario, I'm getting in the bed with two and a half hours until I have to get up and go again. And so like this time I was super slow getting out of bed and I'm slow now. Um, I'm in a lot of pain. My legs aren't hurting and my ankles aren't hurting. My feet aren't hurting. But uh, today on the run, uh, the early morning idiot run, I uh, got chafed. And uh, it's, it's bad. Uh, I got to quit talking. I got to get moving. It's really cold. 
Just know I'm hurting. Yeah. So. But I don't know. I think Goggins has. Oh, oh. I have another one in the books. Four miles. Went nothing. So we're going to get some sleep and we'll be back at it at 3 a.m. Peace. Okay, so this is Ethan. We're in Indian Trail and he's the he's the reason why I'm doing this. So uh, this crazy stuff. So Ethan decided to tackle this challenge and he he said, I thought like, what's a crazy person that would uh, kind of speak into this? And I guess I'm one of those. So uh, well, listen, Ethan, sir, thank you so much, dude. Thank you. Uh, this was a lot of fun. Yeah. Now I'm going home to go to bed. 44 miles in and uh, before I go to bed, I figured I would stop the Jack in the Box and get an ultimate bacon cheeseburger. I know this is terrible for you, but my God, this is so good right now. So I'm two miles into what will most likely be my final run. I'm over 48 miles and I, I think I've done what I set out to do. But I'll kind of give you an insight into why I do some of these challenges and, and why I kind of push myself. I try to pay attention to things in my life that come easy and then also things in my life that come hard like why is one thing hard in a certain season but becomes easier in another and I think it's understanding to strike when the iron is hot metal is much more malleable when the iron is hot than it is when metal is cold and I think this weekend I felt like the iron was hot, metal was ready to be formed, and there were some things that I wanted to learn from this challenge. There were some things that I wanted to put myself into circumstances that are just hard to do throughout the week in training. It worked really well. The Fellowship of the Idiots adding that in, that 20 mile run, was really the key to achieving what I wanted to achieve. I wanted to be able to do a challenge and then throw something ridiculous into the mix and see how I would adapt to it. The, this thing, I was fine with failure. I was fine with not being able to do it, having to stop uh, at any moment. But the idea and the goal would be to swing for the fences and see if I could do the Fellowship of the Idiots, as well as do this challenge. I've done, I will have done all, uh, I think it's 12 runs, and I will have done um, nine of the 12. So I'll exceed the mileage by an additional four miles, but I think I'm done. Uh, I set out to do what I wanted to do and my body was able to hold up to it. It's very exciting. This was a test for some things that are to come and I'm very pleased. So until next time, remember to be happy with the results you get from the effort you put in. Give it everything and no matter if you're first or last, be happy with it. Adios.